Virgo, welcome to your new moon in Virgo reading. And we've already got a card for you. Development. Uh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Uh, things are going to be advancing for you. But I really am getting that it's coming through your attention to detail. It's coming through diligence and... This is a card basically indicative of the Empress card, all right? Things growing, uh, harmonizing. It's a really good omen that things are going to be uh, moving forward for you. And why not? I mean, the sun is in your sign right now. Happy birthday, by the way. And <laughs> I think this is an absolutely wonderful new moon, especially for you right now at this time. Oh, look at that. It came in the reverse. I'm going to tell you, things have not been fair for you. If uh, things have not been straightforward in your life, it's time to put that behind you, okay? You've got the sun really si shining down on you, revitalizing all things Virgo. And the new moon at this time is giving you a brand new start. You know, in the upright, I'm not a fan of that card. I don't think anybody is. But in the reverse, you know, if somebody has been not really on the up and up with you, maybe they're coming clean. Or, um, you know, maybe they're rethinking, okay? They're rethinking their ways. And for some of you, if uh, things have not been fair in your life, um, you're getting a new strategy, okay? You're coming out of that. Some of y'all need to get, um, get a solar return report i do this okay you need to look at what's you know all the energies um how they're impacting you over the next solar year i do solar return reports for those of you who are interested i'm gonna tell you your cards are chatty look at that there's some kind of generosity here on the table and oh it's with, you know, a friend maybe, or somebody that you have a very close emotional connection to um, is being very generous to you. And, okay, so I just had a random thought there and that kind of took me off. All right. Well, it is over. It is finished. Okay. And it might have to do, there's that Empress card yet again where something is going to grow and finish, right? There might have been some kind of a betrayal involving a feminine energy. <clears throat> yeah, there's a home and family issue going on here. I'm just going to cut to it because, you know, it's... These cards are very chatty, and I'm getting uh, I'm I'm getting a lot of interruptions. Uh, there it is again. Yeah. Okay. This is a home and family issue, and it might have to do with your sign, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or a Taurus. I'm also seeing an issue here of stability and security and trust. Okay. Maybe material matters. In the past, it looks like somebody didn't get a second chance. Somebody was not doing the self-evaluation work. They were not really getting the wake-up call that maybe Universe was trying to download to them. Um, you know, a refusal to answer the call, okay, that was on their life. A refusal to integrate a lesson. But it looks like in the future, actually, Spirit is stepping in and moving things forward. Possibly a Sagittarius or a Cancer is relevant. There's that Empress again at the foundation. I'm telling you, it's showed up three times. So there's definitely growth and expansion here on the table, particularly involving a feminine energy. And the outcome, I see things balancing out and healing and this is a lot of major arcana look at that yes so particularly involving you um i feel like 
I feel like there's some kind of trust issue, uh, some kind of stability, security issue showing up around you, but I want to clarify that a little bit more. Um, there's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly relevant. Um, but I see somebody here who is maybe waiting on an apology. Mm. I'm also seeing here somebody is open to an apology, but they ain't going to take shit. They ain't going to take shit. And... Um, And I'm hearing you know what you have to do, okay? And it has to do with a long-term investment. There's that temperance yet again. Somebody's been waiting around, waiting around, waiting around, okay? Somebody's really in their head. I'm getting a lot of analysis paralysis here. No, not Virgo. Never. Yeah, okay. Honestly, that, that Queen of Swords might be you and your energy, you know, because y'all are ruled by Mercury. Okay, and that's very mercurial energy. Looks like in the past, you know, somebody wasn't answering the call, wasn't really given something a second chance or, you know, facing, facing uh, a reality because there is an issue having to do with family resources and stability and trying to get progress, financial progress within a group or career dynamic, okay? But I do see that this is going to get healed. Um, Spirit is going to try to heal this and get progress, get things moving. And it might come through a new start and making plans, possibly with an Aries, or just trying to uh, make plans where you just clean the slate, okay? Like you get a fresh start. And this feminine energy, there does seem to be a lot of loving, nurturing energy around. But some of you in the outcome, I see you having to be more patient and spirit led and going after wish fulfillment. Okay. And I'm seeing again, somebody having to come out with secrets and break free of toxicity and, you know, get their power back. Okay. Somebody has been, again, they've not been listening to spirit and they've got to be spirit led about coming clean about something so they can break free of some kind of toxicity in their life. And it might have to do with shared resources within a family dynamic. <clears throat> Honestly, getting the feeling that in order for things to grow and open up and heal and thrive, um, somebody's got to get out of analysis paralysis and speak up and speak the truth about something. And I don't know that necessarily this is going to happen immediately. I'm getting, honestly, going back to this solar birth year type thing that over the next year, this is something that is going to evolve and develop that uh, there's going to be a, a realization that speaking the truth and opening up emotionally and you know being more spirit led is going to be key to um, moving things forward okay and getting free of toxicity lay a solid foundation is the advice beaver spirit and butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful so yes yeah, something's going to have to change all right and the change is here is like somebody has got to come out with the secrets somebody's got to come clean come up with a new strategy to get their power back and break free from toxicity but i really see it over the next year be blessed